What's good? It's Jimmy Pockets. Going over a quick little session I had at 1-3. I sit down with 400 at about midnight. I noticed right away the entire table is OMCs. Like no one under this table is under the age of 55. I look down at Ace King and raise a 15. Everyone folds. Then I look down at the Jimmy Pockets. I raise a 15 and everyone folds again. Now I'm realizing this is a tight, tight table. Going to be hard to extract money from these people. Next, I get dealt ace queen offsuit. Nobody else is raising. There's a lot of limping going on. So I raise under the gun to 15. At a looser table, I might mix in limping sometimes under the gun with this, with this hand. hand since I'm out of position and normally can count on someone else raising. I get two callers though, and we go to flop three ways of queen, jack, jack. I see bet for 20 and they both fold. I look down at 70 suited in the big blind. There's two limpers over to me, so I bet out 15. They both call and the flop comes, ace, five, king, rainbow. I lead out for about half pot of 20. I'm trying to represent having the ace here. They both fold, we get the bluff through and take it down. They better loosen up cause I take down these small pots all night if they let me. After that, I limp in with nine six of clubs on the button. We go to the flop five ways with two clubs on it. Since we have a flush draw here and with five ways, I don't want to hit my flush on the turn or river and not get any value. So I bet out for 15 and everyone folds. Just a stack update. I'm up about 200-ish at this point in the session. Been taking down a few small to medium pots here and there. I've been raising a lot pre-flop. Everyone folds or C bet in the flop and everyone folds. I've been getting a lot of bluffs through and I'm bluffing more frequently than I normally do. You know, I, I adjusted to the table since I picked up on them being very tight. We look down at the Jimmy Pockets again. I bet out 20 first to act and we get two callers. Under the gun plus two and the button call. Flop comes out, jack nine five rainbow. We trip up. Since they're folding basically any time I make a bet, I check and it checks around. Turn comes six. Now I bet out for 20, under the gun plus two calls, the button folds, and they go to the river heads up. River is an eight. I'm pretty sure if I bet out on this river, he's going to fold. So I check it over to him, hoping he bets, but unfortunately he checks back and we take it down. No vid for this one, I was taking notes, but we get dealt pocket tens. The next hand right after the pocket Jimmy's hands. Four limpers over to me, I raise a 15 in the big blind. In a normal game with that many limpers, I would size up a little bit here to punish the limpers, but this table is so tight, I wanted to get at least some action. I didn't want them to just fold to my raise. Three of them call, and the flop comes out five, six, seven, and I bet out 25. We had two callers. This worries me a little bit here because these OMCs don't call anything. One of them might have a straight here. The turn is a five pair in the board. I check it over to Undergun plus two. He bets out 75. The button folds. I'm not feeling too good about this one, but I end up calling. The river comes out, another five. We end up boating up. Was a little unsure what to do here. Should I check it over or should I bet around, bet out around 50% pot? But I think for a while I end up checking it over because he bet out 75 on the turn. I'd right. hate to put a bet out here and get three bet or jammed on put in a tough spot since these guys are very tight and he very well could be playing five, six suited and he just hit quads on the river. It's like two in the morning now. I'm getting a little sleepy and I plan on leaving this leaving soon. And I didn't want to lose a massive pot right before I left. He snap checks back. I'll show the tens and they're good. He exposes pocket eights. This is the same guy from the previous hand and he says with a smile, he checked back on the river because of how I played the previous hand. This OMC read me like a book. He might be the only other thinking player at this table. Now I wish I bet out here. He pretty much would have called anything. Missed out on some value, but at least we take it down. I get dealt queen jack of clubs in the big blind. There's three limpers over to me. Time to punish these limpers. I raise the 20 and they all fold. We take down about $10 without having to see the flop. I'm literally the only one raising pre-flop at this table. I've never seen so much limping from an entire table in my life. 
Last hand of the night, I looked down at Queen 10 offsuit in the big blind. There was four limpers over to me. I raise the 15 and get three callers. We go to the flop four ways of Queen 10 2 with two diamonds. I see bet for 20 and under the gun plus one, Min clicks me up to 45. There's one full and the button thinks for a whole minute and calls the 45. Strange action at this table. The min clicker under the gun plus one is visibly drunk and I seen him make some questionable plays earlier. I mean, I'm assuming one of them has a flush draw here and I'm gonna charge them if they wanna see it. I four bet them up to 150 and they both pretty much snap full. We take it down. Just to recap, we were over 400 out for 813. As a profit of 413 and about two hours of play. But I'm still curious, what could they possibly have here on this last hand of the board of Queen 10 2 just for this guy to min click me up to 45 and then the button to 10 call to 45 when we still next to act just for them both to fold at the end? Let me know in the comments what you think they had here. But that's it for today. I'll see you guys on the next one.